Okay, it's time to start part two of the tale. And as you can see, that's going to go in the next set of open loops. And it's worked almost exactly the same as the first part of the tale. You'll pick a spot to join. Join your yarn. Chain two. Make a double crochet in the same space. Chain one. And again, you'll skip the next open space and make your double crochet in the next one. And you don't have to worry about the second part of the tail as much because this is going on the inside of the tail. It won't be visible in your final project. It's really only included to add structural support. So again, I will skip one open space and make my double crochet stitch in the next open space. One, go in the next one, and I will continue around with the same pattern of double crochet two, chain one, and I will come back when it's ready to start round two of part two. Okay, round two of part two is pretty simple. You're going to switch to your secondary color of yarn and just make a chain stitch, and you're just going to single crochet all the way around one stitch per opening. So one in the chain gap, one over each one of your double crochet stitches, one in your chain gap, one in each of your double crochet stitches. And you'll just keep going all the way around until you get to the end of the round. And then you will get to the next part, which is joining these two layers of the tail. Okay, now I have part one and part two of the tail done. And I'm going to go around and join them together just to add a little more structural support. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my gray yarn, pick any spot around the round. I'm just going to go all the way around anyway, so it doesn't really matter where I start. And I'm going to put the hook through the first layer and the second layer on the edge and pull my yarn through both layers. And I'm just basically going to slip stitch all the way around, going through both layers so it has the effect of sandwiching them together. As you can see, it's pretty straightforward. You're just making a slip stitch and going through both of your layers. Okay, there you go. The tail is all finished, and you're ready to go on to add your flames and boosters.